Hey, it's Brickzar. We're going to look at a vintage Lego set, set 330. It is a Jeep, it's a model maker set, 65 pieces, and it's from 1968. And I am trying to get all the um, sets from 1968, but uh, this one is uh, this Jeep model, has a lot of uh, white bricks and plates plates and it has the old style wheels that go on the 2x4 bricks and it also has uh, one of those wheels without the tire as a steering wheel so it's pretty neat so let me show you some close-ups of this set in the box and the instructions all right the car itself uh, has a base that is a um, 4x12 old gray plate let me show you here in the instructions and a couple of two by four plates and then you got a lot of one by twos that you use in assembling it and some two by threes and two by twos but they didn't make a uh, one by fours and one by sixes plates back then uh, that I know of so but, um, it's a pretty simple build um, it's amazing the look you can get from something just by using standard blocks and that's one of the reasons I like the old sets because you, they didn't have all the specialty pieces that you see today, but yet you could still make uh, models that you could look at it and pretty much guess what it is. Now you might not think, oh, this is a Jeep. You might say it's just some kind of vehicle, but uh, it does kind of look like a Jeep. It's got the spare tire on the back. It's got the windshield. It's got a blue seat. And it's not built to any scale uh, for large figures or even for minifigures. Although it's close to minifigure scale. That's really close. This could be something a minifigure could drive. So this set only had 65 pieces. And it's a Samsonite set. So that means it was, I think, pretty much pr produced in North America. And on the box, we'll look at that. It says number 330 colon 210. I don't know what that means. It's the Jeep. It has the, um, pretty much no alternate models. So it's a model maker. A lot of those were sets that you kind of built and for display or something like that that you could, could collect. Um, so probably des designed for the older kids. In particular but um, they didn't put age limits on these back then we didn't have safety when I was born there was no safety we didn't worry about that you know we could play with broken glass and things but anyway so I'm not sure what the inside of the box had as far as a liner now I have this it may have been this the extra parts this is extra parts and I have a plastic case I like these little plastic trays they had I got a lot of those from some of these old sets from Samsonite era but you can put it in like, like that and store your parts like that now I had built this set once before and I had a disaster well relatively speaking the disaster uh, hyperbole but this happened that's the remnants of my original 4x12 plate and a 1x2 plate when I was taking it apart they broke. <laughs> so these old parts are really brittle, and even the ones that are not um, that are ABS, they they can break easy after 40 years. So even, sometimes even you get a sealed set and you open it up, it's 40 years old, 45 years old, or whatever. Um, your parts can be very brittle and uh, break apart. So that's one of the drawbacks of some of the older sets is that um, even with a good better quality plastic they still can uh, break real easy so I try to be real careful careful with it so I'm not going to disassemble this one again I may or I may it may work just taking the windshield off let me try that see if it'll fit in the box you know, some of the pieces come off real easy I have to take the wheel off I guess I can still keep it in my box like that. So, so always be careful if, you, if you're a collector of old sets about breaking your pieces. You end up like I did here. So 
So thanks for watching this uh, video about the Lego set 330, the Jeep model maker set, Samsonite. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get all the sets from 1968. That was the year I was born. And I'm not a Lego completist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do like the uh, vintage stuff. And they didn't make as many sets each year back in the 60s and the 70s as they do today. So it's a little easier to get all the sets except for um, just people haven't kept all the pieces and things like that. But they're not, there's not as many that you have to find. Like they make hundreds of sets each year now. So I like the, uh, the vintage stuff. Uh, so I'll, I'll mix it up. I'll do reviews of vintage, new stuff for preschool kids. I do a little bit of everything. But um, I'm partial to the vintage Lego. Thanks for watching, Brickzar.